guys, so today I'm going to talk to you all about eyebrows. So the most important thing to think about is when, you, when you're doing your eyebrows is how to shape it well. So I have mine starting right here, a little before the, the my nostril. And what you have to think about is how much space you want to have in the middle. And then you can worry about arch and things like that. One thing that you have to remember that you can't do is have your eyebrows starting here, like right here. Because that does not shape your, uh, frame your face well and it'll make you look just distorted. It'll make your face look really distorted. Depending on how thin you want your nose to look, that is where you want to start plucking your eyebrows. So you can't have it too close because then it'll look like a unibrow unless you're into that sort of thing. But you also can't have it too far away. If you make it thin, if you make it closer, it'll make your nose thinner. And if you put it a little bit farther away, but not too far, it'll make your nose um, wider. The way that I maintain my eyebrows is I go to a salon and the woman plucks them for me. You can get them threaded, which is what I used to do. And um, they do hurt. It does hurt a little bit, but it's a bearable pain. And um, I say that you shouldn't wax it because um, right here, this skin right here is very thin and over time if you wax it, um, it'll just start drooping and of course you don't want that. So it's okay to wax here, but not here. You, it's better to pluck here. And make sure that you have a professional do it because if you start doing it by yourself, I mean you can maintain it by yourself, make sure you have a professional frame your eyebrows. Make sure they, they do the angle. I unfortunately have um, thicker eyebrows here and I have thin, lot thinner. It's thinner here in the front, so I do fill it in. I use this Stila in the No palette, and I use this brown color, and it's called Earth, this one right here. I use that to fill in my eyebrows every day because I prefer them natural. I use this um, flat, stiff brush. And normally people like to have it angled, but I prefer it flat for some reason. I start from the corner, and I start filling them in. And then with a lighter hand, whatever's left on the brush, I just take it and slowly sweep it on here. Use brush in different angles to fill in different spots that are sparse. Then, and then I take this little thing. In my last video I called it a dinker. I'm still gonna call it that because I have no idea what it's called. And I brush it out. Just so that I can spread the product all throughout my entire eyebrow and so that it'll be even and not just too dark in one spot. So I do my eyebrows every single day, um, well mostly every single day, even if I don't have any foundation um, or eyeliner or anything. I always do my eyebrows because they're really sparse and I feel like if you do your eyebrows they will frame your face and it'll, they'll make you more awake. I just feel like it'll make you look more put together and less homeless like I would. Um, another thing that you can do to fill in your eyebrows is use the Anastasia Brow Gel, which a lot of people use. I don't use it. But you can also do, you can also use this um, clear liquid um, mascara gel. I use it sometimes, not every day, but only when I feel like my eyebrows are getting very, very sparse. I just, um, I use this, just use this gel to have them stay in place and not move around. Another thing that people use a lot is wax. I don't either because I like mine more natural, but if you like yours more structured, you can put in a wax. There are many different companies that make the wax and um, like Benefit, um, I know that Anastasia has a brow powder, but there's this one from e.l.f. which is an, an inexpensive alternative. You start from the tail of your eyebrow with the wax and then you just keep um, moving it in, uh, putting it in as you go towards your nose and then you have a light hand in the front because it always looks good if your eyebrows are not too harsh unless you're going for that dramatic um, very strong brow look. Hey guys, quick thing that I forgot to add in. Make sure that when you, you choose a brow powder or a wax to put in your eyebrows, make sure that it's the same color as your eyebrows. Please, for the love of Lord Jesus Christ, do not make it too dark because it'll just look so crazy. I like using this word, but it will make you look ratchet. It just doesn't look good. So just make sure you choose the right shade of powder to put on your eyes. You can have whatever eyebrow shape that you desire. I think that the best way to shape your eyebrows is however you want, if you want your nose to be thin or thick. So like I said from the beginning, if it's closer to, if it's closer together, then it'll make your nose thinner. If it's farther apart, it'll make your nose wider if you have a thin nose and you prefer to have 
a wider looking ghost. Okay guys, so that's it for my video, and if you have any requests, please put them down below. This is the second video of my Back to Basics series. The first one was an eyeshadow video and how to apply it, and I'll make sure to leave that down in the description box below if you want to look at and check that out. If you have any comments or concerns, make sure to put them down below, or you can email me. Have a basic day. Bye!